Hello, faithful viewers. This is Chris with Overclockers Club. You might recognize my pretty face from my CPU cooler and case reviews with Overclockers Club. Today I've got something a little bit different, though. From Nest, I've got the learning thermostat right here, and we've got the Nest Protect, which is a carbon monoxide and smoke detector. Nest also makes an indoor and outdoor camera, but I don't have any cameras today. We've just got these two items. Well, first thing I want to say is there are already a ton of reviews out there that go into an enormous amount of detail. Uh, these products have already been out for a while, so I'm just going to give you sort of an overview of my experience uh, since I've owned them. So the first thing we'll talk about is the Nest Learning Thermostat. And it says it right there in the title, right there in the name. It's a learning thermostat, so it actually monitors how you use it, when you use it, uh, what sort of temperatures you like, when you make adjustments. And uh, it even has a sensor on it, so when you walk by it knows when you're home and it will go into a uh, power saving mode and uh, when it sees that nobody is in the house or it hasn't been used. There's also a really cool app that you can download to your phone and uh, it goes on an iPhone or an Android phone and you can monitor or control your, uh, your furnace or your uh, air conditioner uh, remotely and you can also look at the, uh, the humidity too and see what that is uh, in the house. So really cool product. These things come in at around $250, so they're not cheap at all by any means, because you can buy a standard, uh, very simple thermostat at your local hardware store for $20, $30, $40, $40, somewhere in that range. So for $250, um, there are a lot to expect, but this thing really delivers. Uh, I love it. We'll take a look at it in a little more detail and show you the installation here in just a moment. We did have one little problem that we noticed over the summer when it was controlling the air conditioner, and I'll go into more details later, but we did get that resolved, and it was a very simple resolution. So we're good to go with that. Now the Nest Protect is a CO uh, carbon monoxide monitor and a smoke detector and it actually communicates with the thermostat. So if it detects uh, a carbon monoxide event it will communicate with the thermostat and you can set it up to turn off the furnace if it detects a carbon monoxide event or if it detects a smoke event it can turn off the furnace. So you can do either one of those or both together if you like. And this is actually much smaller than I was expecting. I figured it would be at least half again as large. Uh, the box for the Smoke detector is actually a little smaller than the box for the thermostat. Uh, these come in around $99. Sometimes you can find them on sale, a little bit of a discount, but uh, again, a little, a little salty for a smoke detector and CO uh, monitor by itself, but you've got a wireless interface that can communicate with your thermostat, and you can also monitor it from the same app that you download to your phone, or you can actually log in from your computer too and see what's going on. And this thing does a lot of little self-checks and make sure that it's good. Uh, the ring around here will turn green. Ready in the entryway. Press to test. Does a lot of cool things. Uh, they have a battery powered unit and they also have uh, a wired unit that you can wire into your home. And they're two separate units. Uh, you can't use one for the other. So you either buy the battery or you buy the powered unit. This one here is the battery unit. And I was a little apprehensive at first uh, buying a product that I was going to have to be changing batteries in regularly. But from everything I read, I did a little research into it, and from what I can tell, it looked like people were getting battery life in the three, four, five year range. So uh, I was comfortable with that. So we'll take a look at the thermostat in a little more detail here in just a few. All right, here's the thermostat mounted on the wall. It's sort of in a sleep mode here. As soon as I wave my hand in front of it, it will turn back on. So I'll wave my hand there. There we go. You can see what the temperature is set to. Um, it comes with this back plate that is optional. You don't have to use it. It just covers up if you had a place on there where the old thermostat, a big rectangular one, sometimes there's a place on the wall, so this sort of cleans that up. And you can paint this to match your background too if you like. And the housing of the thermostat actually comes in uh, several different colors now, so you might look into that and see if there's one that you like better than this one. This is sort of a, a silver or a nickel finish uh, is what this one is. So I'll kind of run through some of the basic features here. Here's your temperature. Uh, here's what the temperature is, and it's set to 67. When we go down, the little green leaf comes on, which means you're in a, a savings mode, a power saving mode. So look at some of the features here. Here we can see the date, the time, the temperature, and the humidity. Here's where you control the heat or the cool. So you can turn the heat on or the cool on or both. Go into uh, echo mode for power saving, or you can turn it off altogether if you know you're going to be away for a while. Uh, we have a lot of other neat features on here. Uh, there's a calendar here so you can look at the schedule so you can you can manually set it to come on uh, automatically different times. Here's the schedule here of energy so you can look back and see 
when you had it on, how many times it's cycled on. It's been very cold lately, so you can see the furnace has been off and on quite a bit today. And we'll go back to the, uh, get this to go back to the mode there. There we go. And uh, let's look at the setup here. So we have a lot of different things we can control uh, independently. And let's see here, get over to the, I'll show you one issue we had last summer with the HVAC. Now if you look at this, you can see this thing actually shows you, if you pull the thermostat off here, this is what you'll see on the back uh, or against the wall. There's a base plate that you mount to the wall and you do all your wiring. The wiring is really easy and very nice and very clear. But if you look at this one right here, the C, the common, the 20 volt volt common, I didn't have that hooked up originally. And the way this works is it draws a little bit of power each time it's on. It draws power to charge the battery inside of there. Well, I wasn't getting enough voltage through the normal cycling. And if you hook up the 24 volt common, which I just happen to have available, that supplies voltage to the thermostat all the time to maintain the proper charge on the battery. So they don't really talk about that too much because most systems are capable of running without the 24 volt common. My system wasn't. After we hooked it up, that took care of the issue. And I'll post a little video of what the uh, air conditioner sounded like outside. Now, your thermostats don't always have that 24 volt common uh, wire already pre-run. So you may have to look into it and uh, get an electrician or an HVAC guy out to uh, run that wire. Unfortunately, my furnace, if I did have to run it, is about oh, five feet in that direction right there. So it would be really easy to run that uh, wire. So I will now show you Let's see, we don't need to do the test. We are done. So we can go back to the thermostat mode. So uh, I'll show you that little video of what it looked like, but again, uh, hooking up that 24 volt C common wire solved all my problems. Well, let's wrap this up here. Uh, I do want to say I really enjoy using the Nest Learning Thermostat. Great product, great app. Uh, looking forward to many years of use with it. This product, hopefully I never have to use it. It's one of those things that's good to have, but I hope I never even have to really test it. So, this is Chris with Overclockers Club. I hope you enjoyed this review, and thanks for watching.